But you cannot imagine the interferences I have had getting to do this video this morning through the roof. It's a, it'll be a miracle if it happens. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about the secondary pathway to methylation, what Dr. Amy calls the shortcut pathway. It is an easier pathway to activate. The first thing we do in this protocol, the YASCO protocol, is to get methylation happening because of all the important functions of methylation that I talked about in the last two videos. So the easiest way to get methylation happening is through the BHMT pathway. Um, betaine homocysteine methyl transferase is what that stands for. And I'm going to put up the methylation pathway, the diagram of the methylation pathway for a few minutes just to show you where you are in this, uh, where the BHMT pathway is. If you take a look at cycle number four, um, all the way to the right, uh, the BHMT pathway directly connects homocysteine, which is at 6 o'clock in cycle number 4, to methionine, which is at 12 o'clock. Um, so that, gets, that shows you where you are. So now I'm going to take this pathway down very quickly. And it's going to change to the betaine homocysteine methyl transferase pathway. That pathway will go up. And I'll show you up at 11 o'clock in the BHMT pathway, you will see homocysteine uh, with the help of folate and B6 changing to methionine, being converted to methionine. Um, you can see and that it gets the methyl group from SAMI. <laughs> um, SAM, S-A-M, gives away its methyl group and becomes S-A-H. That's what I mean about interferences. It's been everything. Everything has come up. Anyway, so, um, you, and you can see there that trimethylglycine becomes dimethylglycine. Trimethylglycine has given a methyl group to, uh, to homocysteine and become dimethylglycine. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to show you this pathway is because you, you've heard of sarcosine, uh, which is down at 9 o'clock, and glycine and serine and phosphatidylserine, if you have been working on this pathway. Um, those, I, I, I just want to give you an idea of where those substrates are situated and how important they are for this methyl group production. At 6 o'clock, you see phosphatidylserine. At 4 o'clock, phosphatidylethanolamine. 2 o'clock, phosphatidylcholine. And you may recognize those as PSPCPE. <laughs> That was somebody telling me how great my videos were. Oh, anyway, PSPCPE, those are where they operate. And they, that, that is why PSPCPE pushes the shortcut pathway. Any of you who have ever talked to me about this um, really... Uh, are familiar with those. Those are supplements that we start out with. 
I'm sorry about the fragmented nature of this video, but it's been one thing after another. I mean, it's like, at this point, I have to laugh. So, um, thank you for watching. I'm going to wrap this up and um, have a nice day. A more peaceful day than I've had. Anyway, but, but at least I can laugh about it. And that's probably good for you, too. So, take care.